Smith from Arlington, Texas. We've got a Thursday matinee on the show. It's the Chicago White Sox and the Texas Rangers. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here and towing the slab in this one, Nathan Evaldi. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. And I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Here's a 1 1. Just missed. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. Good eye right there. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. There's a swing and a miss. Got him. And there's one down. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just okay. couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Benatendi up here. And it's even up. <laughs> One down, base is empty. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a really nice balanced swing on it, and when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box, and he'll feel real good about that one. And it's second with one away. And now it's Luis Robert. Next offering is foul back. And a pitch. For the play. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. He keeps it down. It's just so tough to put wood on. Andrew Vaughn now. That one's in there. And the count is one and two. Two outs. And one in scoring position. Swings over the splitter for strike three. A lot of adrenaline. We can see it right there. And sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Back here with my pal Siggy. And our pitcher in this game, Chris Flexen. What do we have on him? Well, you know this guy wants to be better than that. I mean, the ERA is bloated. He understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games. And at this point, you have to forget about your own individual stats, and you have to go out there and attack and go. try to get that Rangers. W. And if you do that, you'll look Rangers. up, and most Perfect. likely that ERA will have dropped over time. Yeah. Here is Marcus Simeon. Outside low, and it's two and one. Two 
Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. And now the count filled up three and two. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Well, just excellent location on that inside fastball really locked him up and it's a hitter it's not typically what you're looking for you're trying to protect away and then in so you can be a little bit tardy with two strikes hard to tell if he was fooled or if he thought it'd be called the ball but either way that's a really nice pitch Seeger stands in now the shortstop takes the ball One out, base is empty. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. He's getting the barrel to the ball. He's just got to work on that timing a little bit. Here's a 2-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. And the right-hander deals. Stays alive. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one. Punched out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. A sliding stop. It's there, and that's a great play. One, two, three, go the Rangers. We played an inning. No score. Second inning, set to go. Here's the left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. Aloy Jimenez. Jack swing, and he held up. Two balls, one strike. Jack Swain one around. Two balls, two strikes. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Righty to the plate. Goes down looking. Yeah, there's no doubt, Boog. Electric stuff from the jump. I mean, there's just no messing around right now. It's still very early, but we could see a pretty impressive outing here if the strikeouts keep coming in the way they are. One thing you have to be aware of, though, is a high strikeout rate might impact the pitch count as the innings roll on. And, and that's two. outside. Full count, three and two. No score here in the second. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Yeah, the batter now, Brooks Baldwin. Next pitch way upstairs. He 
He swings and fouls one off. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Corey Lee. And that one fouled off. Two on, two outs. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. left fielder Wyatt Lankford ball to strike and another ball wouldn't chase that time umpiring behind the plate for us today Boog is Mike Fillmore and he is a good one he'll reward pitches on the edges a little bit but the main thing is he doesn't keep you guessing once he established that a pitch is a strike it stays that way 3 1 and he couldn't come up with it well, that could be a tone setter for the inning four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base we'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder up next for the Rangers, Adolis Garcia. Righty delivers. Just off the outside edge. Two and one. Just missed. A 3 1. Ground ball left side could be two. Slings to second on the ball. Two. That is good. The first base is not that Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball still a one and two count. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. We'll move to the third with no score. Back at Globe Life Field. Here's Tommy Pham. The right fielder. Tommy Pham. Down to the dirt. Swing and a miss. Man, that was pretty gross right there. On the ground to the left, Seeger zips it to first and one away in the top of the third. Andrew Benintendi steps up. Benintendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. Next offering upstairs. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. High fly ball out of the left center field. Lankford sizing this one up. They got it for out number two. Now that, 
Luis. Luis Robert now. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. And another ball. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. Top of the third, no score. Still two and two after the foul ball. And as well, lots of pop in that bet. So you combine the slug with really good defense. This one blasted the other way, down the line, and it's a foul ball. Well, pitcher's probably thinking he's a little late on that pitch, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed him up, not give him something off speed that he can handle. Can't glove it cleanly. Gets it there in time, though, and they do get the third out. The inning is over. Down in order go the White Sox, and we're still knotted at zero. Welcome back to the ballpark. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim. And here it comes. That's a ball. To the right side can't glove it cleanly but the throw to first gets him easily and that's the first out batting in the white field travis jankowski. travis jankowski the next to hit one down base is empty and that one hit to first and he takes it himself for the out Here's Leody Tavares. Two out spaces empty. Missed That's with a, a changeup. Two and one. Two balls, one strike. Swing and a foul straight back. And a pitch. Three. Struck him out looking. Rangers go down quickly there. Still no score. Start of the fourth. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Sox, Andrew Vaughn. And that's in the dirt. Two one. Swings through that one for strike two. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. Next offering misses down and away. Side and that is ball four. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. You don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Go ahead, run on base. Here's Aloy Jimenez. The pitch. Got him! And now one away. Right the start to this game on the mound, looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already, so this lineup hasn't had much success trying to figure them out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. 
Now it's Nick Senzel. The two on. Just nope. missed. Three ball, one strike. Vaughn leads off first with one away. Swung on, belted. That's back. Out of here. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they jump out front. It's 2-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. And now the shortstop, Paul DeYoung. The line to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss as he chases one that one darting out of the zone. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Two outs. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. But the White Sox with a two-run homer. And it's two zip. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Ready to go for the last go. half of the inning. Base. Now it's Marcus Simeon. The second baseman. Marcus Simeon. And another ball. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And here's Corey Seager to hit. The Rangers still looking for their first hit in this one. That's down and in. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Kicks and deals. And fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Caught him looking for the K. A oh, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound, no question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the play today. Now the third baseman, Josh Smith. Left-hand batter waits. Too high. Pull. And that is cut out and missed. Two and two now. The White Sox up by two. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. In the air out towards right center. Robert snags it on the run. Next to bat, the Texas cleanup hitter, Wyatt Lankford.
and a pitch and a foul ball. Ground ball left side. In time to Vaughn. And that is the inning. One left for Texas. They trail it here 2 0. And we're back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Corey Lee. The wind of the pitch. On the ground to third. Whips it across. One up, one down. Back to the top of the White Sox lineup. Now it's the right fielder, Tommy Pham. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Fouls one off, two and two. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. Very high with that one. Full count now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Late cutting action to get the swing and miss right there. I mean, that's just really hard to account for as a hitter when you're seeing the fastball all the way and then just at the last moment, it darts away from you and you can't reach it. Here comes a pinch. A little out front there as he swings through it. Man, that's just a nasty splitter. Bottom falls out of it. You don't see a lot of guys throw that these days, but I tell you what, he's got a good one. This one in the air center field. Tavares brings it in with a nice running grab. Back in Arlington, John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton and set to get us started. Bottom five, Adolis Garcia. Out to short. To first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Up next for the Rangers, the first baseman, Nathaniel. Nathaniel Lowe up to Whoa. hit. The Rangers trailing by two, last half of inning number five. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Number 33 appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Number 60 also getting ready. That one to first. And he handles it himself for the out. The catcher, number 28. Yoda. So two down now, and here is Jonah Heim. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Looking sharp, just a strike away from five shutout innings. Pitch misses there, and it's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. And he deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Rangers go down in order. Nothing doing for the Rangers, and they're down 2 nothing. A new arm into the game, the righty, Michael Lorenzen. And he's been really shutting down hitters from the right side of the plate this year. Not a lot of hard contact, not a lot of hits, period. Lorenzen. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. Robert. 
The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Activity in the bullpen. David Robertson preparing to come on if needed. Haney, the lefty, warming up as well. The one two. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for strike three. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Next offering is in for a strike. Lorenzen. He's made a name for himself as a very effective reliever, but not really what you expect from a bullpen arm these days because he's not out there racking up K's. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves, knowing that they can miss the bat Tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Right through there for a strike. I think it's the deception and his ability to change arm angles and slots and give hitters different looks within one at bat. They're never able to get comfortable when you only see him once. A lot of times he has success. Brings it in for the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's the White Sox two and the Rangers nothing. Back at Globe Life leading Field, off. leading Rangers, off, Travis Jankowski. The, the pitch. Heading down the line. Jimenez trying to get there. Won't get to this one, it drops foul. The one, two. Out towards right center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. The center field, number three. Lee Hody. So next to hit for Texas, Laoti Tavares. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Popped up. Vaughn moving under this one. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but it's so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Marcus Simeon. The 1-1. And that one is lifted in the air on the move to the gap. And makes the play, and that's out number three. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the third baseman, Nick Senzel. Outside low, ball two. In the air, left field. And out number one on the grab. Up next to Chicago. Paul DeYoung now at the plate. Paul DeYoung. Right-hander kicks, deals. That's that one two. missed. Next That's one misses. Three. And now three and one. Base is empty one away. Here in the top half of inning number seven. The other way, 
Two down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Two outs, space is empty. Brooks Baldwin steps to the plate for the White Sox. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Three and one. That one down the line. Tosses to first. And that is that. One, two, three, go the White Sox. But they're on top two nothing. Set for the last half of the seventh. So now it's Corey Seager. All these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Here's a one two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting a call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Clips the outside corner. Going to count one and two. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit there to one go. velocity and stay there. Nope, he held back. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. 2-2 two -two now. Fights it off, he'll see another. Next pitch misses, ball three. Well, just about to hit that century mark, 100 pitches for this game. In danger of losing the no-hitter here. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. That's just a nasty pitch right there. I'm not surprised at all that he got the strikeout looking. You know, at the plate, looks like it's a fastball off the corner the entire way until just that very last second when that cutting action takes over and brings it back to clip the outside corner. You just got to tip your cap sometimes, but overall, that's just a nasty pitch. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seven. offering in there for a strike two balls two strikes that's foul off to the right side keeps the AB going 2-2 two -two. and another ball Adolis Garcia waits on deck Two down, nobody on. Here's a long drive, and that's going to end the no-hitter. It's a base hit. He made a great run at it, Boog. I mean, he had their hitters off balance for the entire game up until this point. And maybe he didn't get all the way to 27 outs, but he deserves a lot of credit. Yeah, really fantastic effort. Gave us all a great show. And now we'll see what's left for him. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Chris Flexen departs. Really solid performance out of him as he leaves with a slim lead. We'll take a break. New arm when we get back. Johnny Brebbia into the game. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Runner at first with two away. Next to hit, Adolis Garcia. And he grounds one to the right side. Baldwin. The throw to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Rangers leave one. They trail things here, 2 nothing.
And we're back. And here is Corey Lee. Corey Lee. Right-handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air. Jankowski under this one. Makes the catch. And there's one away. Now batting. Right fielder. So the batting Tommy order turns over. Pham. And now the right fielder, Tommy Pham. Base is empty one away. And we're in the top of the eighth. The 1 1 is fouled off. The pitch. And a good eye there. It's a good take. Two strikes. That one at 95 missed up top. Three and two down. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days. But when you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part to maintain that lead and getting that W. Popped up. Low. Has this one sized up? Pulls it in to end the inning. Nothing doing for the White Sox, but they hold the 2 0 lead. Back in Arlington, and the batter now, Nathaniel Lowe. There's a strike. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. The one, two. And down on strikes he goes. And there's one down. Jonah Heim will hit next. Well, both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. One ball, two strikes. The White Sox holding on to a two-run lead here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. On the ground to third. Senzel over to first. And that quickly, two away. The right field, number 16. Travis Jankowski stepping in for the Rangers. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat automatically that... Well, plays made there, and that retires the side. And the Rangers set down in order. They're still down. It's 2 zip. They hand the ball over to a new arm, David Robertson. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Luis Robert steps to the plate for the White Sox. Robert. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. So here's the cleanup hitter, Andrew Vaughn. Swing and a miss, 
Brooks as he was out front. Bullpen action for the Rangers. Josh Spores, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. And the pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Aloy Jimenez now. And the pitch. Two two to count. swinging three up three down that time and nine one two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth it's the White Sox two and the Rangers nothing welcome back and here comes the closer Shane Ali a chance at his first save of the year And now here is Leody Tavares. Right, you got the number nine hole hitter right here. Looking to do whatever he can to get on base, turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. Just missed. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Yeah, there's a ball. Really good take, especially with two strikes. The pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. And the righty deals. On the ground, right side. Tosses the first. That was a strong at bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. The second baseman, Marcus Simeon. Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers. The wind and the pitch. Hey. That one hammered center field. That's back. And that one is gone. That was blasted to the moon. His 14th of the year. And they've got their first run. It's 2-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. He got on plane with that high fastball, then look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. Now it's Corey Seager. And a strike. and misses struck him out and now one out remaining for Texas well big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed it's hard to bring that to a halt once you have committed they try to check the swing just couldn't do it a swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone this could end it wouldn't chase that time. Looking to get the tying run on base. 
Got him looking. And the crowd goes home disappointed as this one draws to a close. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.